In this video, I'm going to show you how to simplify a radical expression using Desmos. In our example, we have the square root of 45. To type that in, you type in SQRT, and that will convert to a radical symbol. You can see the decimal approximation there. Another way to type in square root of 45 is to use the keyboard symbol at the bottom, and in that menu, you will see a radical symbol. So here is square root of 45. Now let's talk about what it means to simplify the square root of 45. We are finding an equivalent expression that breaks down 45, the radicand, into um, prime factors. And one method to do this is to divide by the largest perfect square. So we're going to um, rewrite this as a perfect square, 9 times 5, which is 45. Now the square root of 9 can be simplified to 3, so this expression can easily become 3 square root of 5. Now if you struggled with that process, here's another way that you can do this. We're going to write 45 divided by perfect squares. So to do that, we're going to say x squared. x is some number squared, which means we're dividing 45 by all the possible perfect squares. To let Desmos do this for us, we can hit this gear and change that expression to a table. Now, we're only looking for integers. So when I'm looking at this right column here, 11 and 25 hundredths, I'm going to just hit backspace and delete that one. Negative one is not gonna work for us. Zero is not gonna work for us. One, one times the square root of 45 is the square root of 45, that's an equivalent expression. Two and 11 and 25 hundredths is not an integer, so that's not gonna work. Let's type in another example, three. 3 times the square root of 5. That works. Let's make sure that this is the most simplified. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hit enter and get several more values. But I'm looking for other integers in this right column that are smaller than 5. And you'll notice that the numbers are just getting smaller and smaller. There's no other integers here. I'm already below 1. So like we did before, our answer would be 3 times the square root of 5. Let's do another example. All right, so example two is the square root of 98. I'm going to type in 98 divided by x squared. Hit that gear and change it to a table. You're looking down this y column for the lowest integer, okay? So the smallest integer, that means positive or negative whole number. Um, ideally, it will be positive. So I see two, and I'm gonna keep clicking, but I don't see any other smaller values. So it looks like seven and two, which would let us rewrite this as seven times the square root of two. And just for good measure, I'm gonna type it in right here, seven times the square root of two. And you'll notice that these decimal approximations are equivalent. All right, another example. Last one. The square root of 180. So 180 divided by x squared. Use the gear, change it to a table, and I go to the last value in this table and I'm just gonna keep hitting enter and I'm looking in this Y column for small integers. So one times the square root of 180, two times the square root of 45, three times the square root of 20, skip these, cause those have decimals, six times the square root of five. I'm looking to see if I see any other integers here and I do not. So six times the square root of five, 
is my answer. And I'm just going to verify that by typing it here to see if the decimal approximations are equal, and they are.